Cooper wakes up in bright sunlight on a beach. He has no idea where he is, but looking around he seems to recognise the place. Somehow or other, he seems to have ended up in New Zealand, on the beach where Jane Campion shot scenes for her film The Piano. Some lines from Charles Kingsley's novel The Water Babies ran through his head. Down to the sea, said Tom. Everything is going to the sea, and I will go too. Cooper lay there for a while, trying to figure out why and how he had got there. He had obviously been sent to a time travel tunnel taxi, a TTTT, by the master. But why? Was the master here on this beach, somewhere in New Zealand? Glancing up at the cliffs above, he caught sight of the first pair of tarantelli, or dancing fools, as he had uncharitably begun to think of them as. Practicing erotic ballroom poses, he found a path going up the cliffs, but by the time he had reached the place where he thought the couple had been, they had danced away into the trees and palms that covered the area. He began to make his way through this thick palm forest towards what he knew below. Opening his mobile communicator, the GPS showed him Piha. He was on the beach at Piha. The GPS showed buildings about five miles inland. Five miles, eight kilometers. The palms had reminded him of a lesson from school about Fibonacci numbers. Put a pair of rabbits in a box. How many pairs of rabbits can be produced from that pair in a year? The number of pairs of rabbits in the nth month begins 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89 where each term is the sum of the two terms preceding it. This turned out to be useful when converting miles to kilometers somehow. Five miles is eight kilometers. That worked because the conversion factor between miles and kilometers is roughly equal to the golden ratio. A string of red pearls appeared in the sky above a clearing, and he started to follow them, counting them as they crossed the sky. One, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen. They seemed to be leading him somewhere. As he walked and watched, he saw the clouds beyond the string of pearls form a perfect map of Thailand, and he guessed what was coming, but not just yet. A Glenn Miller tune ran through his head for some reason, a tune he couldn't quite name. The string of pearls led him to a railway station guarded by huge red moai or tiki, the significance of which wasn't clear to him right then, but no doubt would be revealed soon. A train pulled in and he got on. As it sped its way, he fell into a deep sleep and dreams peopled with unknown faces and voices soon gathered around him. (laughs) 